Hi, I'm Ralph. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're talking about guacamole. We're doing this because we have Cinco de Mayo coming up in just a few days after this is published. So Cinco de Mayo is a Mexican holiday, actually a fairly minor holiday. It's actually celebrated much larger in Texas and the rest of the U.S. I guess basically because we're just looking for a great excuse to eat Mexican food and to party, as if you actually need an excuse to eat Mexican food. Let's get started on the guacamole. Guacamole basically is a pretty simple recipe because it's whatever you want it to be. If you go to YouTube or you go to Google and you Google guacamole recipe, you are probably not going to find two recipes that look alike. That's why it's something that you just kind of start out with the basics and you add whatever you want to it. The only thing you really have to have are the avocados. With that said, let's get started. I've got an avocado here. Let's show you how to cut open a, an avocado. Have a good sharp knife. There's a large pit and you want to bring the knife just down to that pit. Then circle around on that pit until you've cut all the way around it. Twist it and you wind up with two halves, one that has a pit. Take your knife very gently, just tap that pit, twist a little bit, pop it off. That's all there is to it. Then all you need is like a regular tablespoon to just kind of scoop it out. Very simple. And that's it. Now, I saved one of the avocado pits, and I will show you why in just a little bit. So I mentioned that the only thing you really have to have is the avocado. But what you most often find are tomatoes, onions, cilantro, uh, some, maybe some garlic. Sometimes you'll find um, other ingredients jalapenos. You'd make it as spicy or as mild as you like. You'd add as much of each ingredient as you like. So with that said, let's kind of get started. Now I had chopped up some onions, but if you want to take a, the bite out of the, the fresh raw onions, it might be good to add a little bit of lemon juice or lime juice directly to the onions before you put them into the mixture. And this just kind of takes a little bit of that bite that fresh onions can sometimes have. Now, another reason to have lemon juice or lime juice in your guacamole is because when your recipe is done, avocados can turn very quickly and you do not want brown uh, guacamole. So citrus, lemon or lime helps keep that away. I've also got some chopped up tomatoes and I'm going to put those in with the onions for the same reason it's just going to be kind of absorbing some of that bite that onions can have. Now when you buy the avocados there's basically two different types that you're looking at Haas or Fuente. You really want the Haas variety because that is the better avocado for making av uh, guacamole but sometimes Haas just isn't in season, and when they're not in season, that's when the Fuente generally tend to be. Normally the middle of the winter, but most of the time Haas will be available. When you buy them, they're gonna be rather firm. Let me grab a, another avocado here. In the grocery store, they're gonna be very hard, typically. That's fine, but they're not ready to work with when they are hard. That's why you have to plan to make guacamole a day or two ahead of time. So you buy them, bring them home, let them ripen. However, at that point, you have a very small window of opportunity to actually make the guacamole because it will go from ripe to overripe very fast. So you have to have a little planning ahead of time here. Buy them when they're firm, let them sit overnight, maybe two days, then you can work with them 
you get much longer than that, it's gonna be too late. I've got them in the, the bowl here. You can use a tomato mat or a potato masher. You just kind of mash them up. You'd make this as chunky or as smooth as you like. If you don't have a potato masher, just use a fork. And that works really well as well. Okay, going to switch over. I think we are done with this part. Keep all that good avocado there. And we are ready to start adding ingredients. The onions, the tomatoes, the uh, lemon juice, putting those in right now. Then add a little bit of garlic salt. Now remember, you are seasoning to the way you like it. Not to the way I like it, it's not my recipe, it's the way you might like it. I'm gonna add a little cilantro here. Some people don't like cilantro, that's okay. Don't use it. I've even heard of some people putting a little bit of fruit in. Now, if you put like some mango, or I've even seen peaches, you're gonna to wanna to chop those up fairly small because remember, these are going on a chip. And whatever goes on the chip has to stay on the chip and you don't want that chip breaking because you're putting this big chunk of fruit on it. Now let's get this all blended together. This is looking really good. So, that's what it's looking like. Catch it on that angle. So what's it tasting like? Let's just have a little shot of it here. Mmm. Very nice, very smooth. This will be a great addition to any party, any meal. Go great on a chip, go great on a fa uh, fajita, inside of a, a soft taco. This is excellent. You're gonna have to try some of this. Now, a couple more things here. I mentioned that you've gotta buy it ahead of time. However, once you've prepared it, be prepared to serve it fairly soon afterwards because it does not last very long. That's where this pit comes in. I'm going to embed this pit in the guacamole. Why am I doing that? Well, the legend, maybe myth, I don't know, says that if you put the avocado pit in the prepared guacamole, it helps keep it from turning brown. Is it the truth? Maybe, I don't know. I know a lot of restaurants do it. And who am I to, you know, argue with them? Next. Let me get some cling film. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Here's how you save the guacamole for the next day. You don't just put it over the top of the bowl. You actually put it in literally on top of the guacamole itself. What you're doing is you're protecting it from the air getting to it. So let me give you a close-up of how that's actually looking in the bowl. Right there on top of the guacamole. Then I've got a cover that is gonna go on top of that. And I'm gonna be putting this into the refrigerator. It'll be great for tomorrow. It may make it to the next day. This is not an item that you're gonna be able to prepare days in advance. It's great right after it's made. It'll be great 
tonight. It'll be pretty great tomorrow. It's not gonna be great the day after. So don't make too much and don't make it too far in advance. If you've enjoyed this video, place a yet like down below, please. You'll find the directions down below. And I'd really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel because I get a lot of great ideas from my subscribers and from the people who leave me comments down below. In fact, this idea for guacamole came from one of our subscribers. Todd, this one was for you. Hope you're enjoying life down there in Belize. So if you're enjoying the show, be a part of the show, let me know some ideas of what you would like to see on this show. With that said, thanks for watching. I will catch you the next time. Bye-bye.